Tomorrow's kind of asking Kyle this. Uh, I categorize this as a professional win today. You guys had emotional games last week. You come out, you didn't play the record. You guys put them away early. What, what kind of confidence does your team have right now? Um, you know, I think we just go out there and try to figure out how we could be better every single chance we get, whether if it's practice, film, whatever it is. And, you know, we kind of take full advantage of that, you know, and that's our mindset. And with that come the confidence of us understanding what we need to do when we're out there in the shows. Uh, bench tonight, uh, this afternoon, I mean, I stopped counting at one point, but I saw 69 points from them. That's a season high. Another fourth quarter off for you guys. Talk about their play and how good it is right now. Man, it's great. You know, for us to be able to get rest, that's definitely going to benefit benefit us in the long run. And, you know, it's always great. But it's, it's great just to go see them guys out there playing, you know, give us a chance to sit over there and kind of be cheerleaders, so, so to speak, you know, and it's cool to see them, see that. A ball movement again today, 30-plus assists. Are, are you guys, and how much are you guys ingraining the style of play, not just for the end of the regular season, but for the playoffs? I mean, I think it's there. You know, I think it's there. We just, it's second nature for us now. You know, we don't even think about it. You know, it's not nothing we try to force. We just go out there and, and play and um, take whatever the team gives us. At the point now, tomorrow where it's just maintain what you've got going, I mean, there's not really too much people can kind of point to and say this isn't going right for this team right now. Um, yeah, but, you know, it's still defensively a lot of things that we always look at that we could clean up. And, you know, it's going to be mistakes there that we always be able to, you know, look at and learn from, but, you know, everything else, you know, we understand what we need to do, how we need to get better, and, you know, um, just go out there and play, honestly. There's a lot of reasons why maybe you wouldn't look sharp in a game like today, coming off Friday night, and it's an early start against a bad team. Did all that kind of make you guys focus even more? Uh, honestly, I know people say this, that, and the third about that, but for us, we just want to hoop. <laughs> We just want to hoop, man. And every time we get an opportunity to hoop, we going out there doing what we know how to do. What we know how to do, and that's the play. You know, whether if it's an early game, a late game, whatever it may be, no matter who we playing, we could be playing against five of y'all. We are gonna go out there and just hoop, honestly. Um, yeah, it's a lot different. You know, learning from your mistakes, learning from um, having gain more experience, you know, so much come from it that that, that that we can take from, you know, previous fails, previous success and, you know, kind of apply it to now, you know, and that's what we're doing. Appreciate it. You're the only team who is in the top five offensively and defensively in the NBA. Uh, are you happy, though, that you're kind of like playing under the radar, that it kind of... Huh? No, we, we don't pay attention to it. It is what it is. For, for us, we just go out there and play. My man, we can't worry about being on top of the radar, under the radar. We can't let none of that slow us down. We can't put our energy into that. You know, at the end of the day, at the end of games, at the end end, end of the night, all we care about is that W. We heard teams like the Spurs, for instance, for so many years, we said that it was kind of an advantage, you know, you have less things to, to deal with, you know. Do you ah! kind of see that way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you definitely say it that way, but... We really just don't pay attention to it, man. We just got to play basketball and, you know, fight for whatever our main goal is and go towards that. What do you think has been the best outcome so far of the discussion about mental health and those, those kind of issues? Would you, you take from it? Yeah, helping other people. You know, when it, when it comes to that, it's bigger than basketball. It's bigger, bigger than me as an individual. It's, it's about life and being able to uh, live your life comfortably. Whether you're young, old, we all go through some stuff. So... Me being in the position I'm in, if I'm able to speak speak out about the things that I go through, may, maybe it give comfort to somebody else, feel, feel like, feel, feeling like they could push through it as well. So that's what it's all about for me.